like a priceless jewel buried in dark layers of soil and stone. Earth radiates her brilliant beauty into the caverns of space and time. Perhaps you are aware of those who watch over your home and experience it as a place to visit and play with reality. You are becoming aware of yourself as a game master. Hey, how you doing, everybody? Hey, guys, Steve Jones and uh, Matt Derry. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> sort of just hanging out. Uh, we we're in this very room, probably like 20 years ago. It's used to. It's yeah. always been my recording studio. Scary room in some ways yeah. to me. Very sort of, uh, yeah, yeah, some good times in there for sure. Out of out of body experience. Yeah, yeah for sure. Room. Yeah, for sure. But, but the music. Yeah, you know the music, of course. Yeah, yeah, and uh, the garden as well. It's um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we used to. I don't nice, know if you can see out there. Nice, but, uh, uh, yeah. good fun parties uh, around here for sure. Starting Saturday and ending on Tuesday or something. Yeah, that something was like that. pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah. It was pretty. Yeah, we used to set up like a marquee in the garden, have lasers. Our friends from Clubland, you know, that bring like lasers and stuff, and we'd have like a mini festival. Yeah, used to get the police coming round from the next village, you know. <laughs> yeah, those yeah. were uh, quite some. Yeah. It looks what you can actually I say, mean, really, really. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Must, must uh, yeah, be careful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You were going to say you remember? Yeah, there were good, good times. I was remembering a fancy dress party or two. You've yeah. actually got some video from those. I have. You? Yeah, I'm going to post that up later yeah. this afternoon. <laughs> Just because, yeah, I've got some videos. I'm going to, I've actually a baby grow with talcum powder all over my face. Oh, God. Like, yeah, comes yeah, I remember that. And, yeah, uh, yeah. You, you were I was an American, a, I was a, a American Airlines pilot. Oh, was that what it yeah, was? I yeah, thought yeah, it was I a fireman so. out. I thought it was a US fireman. That was an airline pilot. I think it was an airline pilot. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So here, you watch that. So I've got it. I've yeah. got it. We'll Did watch you know that, that now. Yeah, okay, watch that now. Here we go. We'll put a bit of it. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no. You know what? You, no. Haven't, you haven't changed. Yeah. You haven't changed. Really? No. Oh, no. Right. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. You're fine. That, yeah. was, uh, that was an interesting room we did that in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was. Um, uh, what I did is I, com I converted uh, my garage into a studio for Michael Woods. Because uh, I, obviously I worked a lot with Marcella Woods and uh, he, he was saying, you know, I want to do what you do. He used to sell stationery. Yeah, That's I what did he used to that. do, yeah, he I used to sell stationery. And so he sat in the studio for here for yeah. about a year, and then I, I built him, well, he, he, he basically built, built him himself, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah, he, he, built, he lived the in there for a while. Himself. Yeah, he pretty like, much lived in there, Just yeah. That was where Warrior, Warrior was He lived in my garage, Michael yeah. Woods, pretty much until he came out with Warrior, and then he moved out and bought a house. There you go. One, those were the days. Yeah, yeah. So I bought some. I bought some tunes with me for. I know we're not really playing. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I thought, yeah. I thought maybe. You I know, I gave my decks it. away. Yeah. I've got one left. Yeah. Oh, you've just got so one. I've got one left. <laughs> which everyone does, wasn't it? So, yeah, yeah, so when yeah. you need to like practice yeah. vinyl, you go and borrow. <clears> I don't you know. Take off somewhere else, which is yeah. very professional. Yeah. I gave gave my decks away. I gave my CDJs away. All to friends. I gave my vinyl collection away, but I kept. Yeah. I kept some, some of my own. 
box. Well, was the new box. Do you remember the days? Yeah. I was thinking that when I was... Magic. Feel how heavy that is. Yeah, I was thinking that. Let's have a go. Let's have a go. Yeah, that's very That is insane. And two of those. Yeah. And then you would take that... You used to have... You used to have shoulders. Yeah. Alright, so this one... This one definitely came to Australia with me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, British Midlands, they're not even around now, so... Yeah, I've still got my yeah. box. And I used to have old airlines gone bankrupt, haven't they? Yeah, probably because it's due to our so, so cut throat, isn't it? Remember Easy Day to Ibiza, and you would never know if your record box would arrive. Oh, no, I, that's the one thing I don't, the, I don't miss. That's I mean, the I, terror. Yeah. The terror of turning up without your record collection. What? The, um... The thing was, for a while, if you remember, you used to be able to get your record box on the hand It was small enough if you were yeah. being nice to you at the gate. Yeah, yeah. But you'd always be sort of turning up and be petrified. They're going to say, sorry, man, it's all going. I know. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. You never know if it's going to turn up. Yeah. Or everyone, end up. Everyone, all the BA stuff used to nick all the Yeah. End up at night. Other airlines end up, too. Yeah, sorry. yeah. End up in Mallorca or somewhere. Yeah. Just a different destination. And there was, there was nothing you could do yeah. about it. Yeah. And so... I had to play with someone else's records one time in Egypt. Horrific. Was it? Just didn't even know what any of the records. But you're there, just, so you got to Yeah, do it, I had right? to do, I had to play a set with yeah. someone else's records. This is pre- it was a real disaster. So this is before digital then, before CDJ. Yeah. So you couldn't Well, when I was still, yeah. Yeah. So do you, when you play now, do you have, do you put a backup on, online and stuff or? No, I just put USB. Yeah, know? I know, but yeah. do, you, do you like, in case you, because I'm so worried about oh, no, losing no, I've got, USB I've got, sticks. I've, I've got like, you know, 10 USBs, I've got one in my back pocket, one in my coat. Yeah, yeah, that's what you just, I've, I've yeah, got four There's just no it. way you would and lose. And I, I, yeah. I upload, uh, I've always got yeah. cloud sets kicking yeah. about, so if the worst comes to the worst, I lose all my USB sticks, I can turn up and get this out. Like USBs. I know there's this vinyl revival, and I'm all for it if it's not me playing. <laughs> you know. <coughs> when is the last time you played vinyl? <clears throat> 2000, 2002, now. 2000. Okay. I, was, I actually um, was one of the first people to buy, to get those CDJs, and I, I absolute after mixing that Euphoria um, digital digitally mixed Euphoria. Yeah. From that moment on, I had a little flight case. I used to carry it. I got this Gucci bag because it looked like, you know, they always let you through duty free. You know, they always let you through they, if it looks like you've been shopping at the airport. So I had a Gucci bag which was reinforced. It, it could t- you could carry this kind of oh, weight. Is this the thing you had with the CD players? Yeah, it? yeah. So it was oh, a, yeah, a Gucci yeah, I bag. Like, it was yeah. a... a, a, a um, duty-free style bag but it was specially reinforced so you'd be carrying it like as if you you know you'd be like that sort of like and it always got through always. and that had your cd and a tiny mixer that had yeah. tiny right. tiny cdjs and mixer yeah yeah right. everything and then the cds you put in your case yeah, yeah. but you could not put decks yeah no yeah. through luggage they just would end up in pieces because they just Chuck it on, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I did that bit and uh, went through that whole phase of people saying, Oh, it's not real DJ, etc. etc. So, you met many, many of those. Um, so, I remember some quite iconic DJs say, It's not real DJ, Matt, it's not real DJ, you know. And then the next year, I saw him DJing on CDJs. USBs, I'm telling you, DJs. Is, I mean, it's not nowadays, you just. Press the button. Yeah. Like the different. above and beyond thing, you know, press yeah. that button. That's yeah. all you do, really. But it's it's yeah. ma- making the music is the right side. Yeah. But also, like, the, the yeah. thing that <clears throat> is very chase is that plays your, your playlist, right? It's your running one. Yeah, yeah, so, exactly. So there's yeah. still, you can give the same 20 tracks to two different DJs and have a completely yeah. different experience yeah. on the evening. Depending yeah. on the evening yeah. for you. I mean, I'm all for it. You know, the easier the DJing is and the more spontaneous you can be about it you know, what you're playing next. You haven't got to get your vinyl out and be ready already a minute before. You yeah. can, the very last second, you know, yeah. choose. And you can do nice edits and stuff. Yeah, like, yeah, well, yeah. Do yeah, that's, that's, stuff. that's and, and now I think the technology's yeah. got to the stage now where actually on the fly you can do quite interesting stuff as well without, yeah. without the whole thing falling apart, without it starting to sound like some weird mashup. You can actually do quite cool stuff yeah. on the fly, which is cool. So. 
So what's what would be your All right, so, so let's get some tunes out. Let's have a look. <coughs> see what we've got. <coughs> see what we've got in the box. Oh god, this is so heavy. <coughs> Yours is bigger than mine. Uh, it always was. Right. All right, let's have a look. What's your top? Oh, I've got this uh, this uh, fan actually pressed press this record one little hour, of, which I never actually released. It was only ever on a video game or a... Oh, wow. And he pressed it up. Cheers, wow. mate. Wow. Really appreciate it. That's the only so one of that. two copies in the world Jesus. It's called One Little Hour. It's like, um, was it on release? Eastern. Yeah, it was on Fast Car magazine and a okay. video game on PlayStation. You know, that, wow. that is cool. So what's first? Do you remember? Do I remember? Yeah, okay. So it's on the... It's interesting in here. Yeah. How about this then? Yes. So, oh yeah. Here That's we go. Cheap. So, yeah. So that, see, the unfortunate thing of playing with Matt is I'm going to have to take out a load of tunes from the my normal set that I would have played because normally these two normally these tunes yeah. prop up my set big time so, <laughs> so like when, I'm, when I'm clutching at straws it's like oh should I play Game Master you know right. Wizards uh, Wizard, uh, the Sonic the Hedgehog is out again the movie right it'd be a good opportunity to, to do that Wizards. again yeah yeah, yeah. 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 so okay how about this now the story behind this Steve Jones actually was the inspiration Steve and Ricky were the inspiration for this uh, your track Shine yeah. Love oh, Shines that Through one? that one there you go. Love Shines Through You Are Beautiful Within You Are Beautiful Without or it's yeah. very very similar yeah. top two beautiful yeah uh, Steve and Ricky have got publishing on that look bit. Yeah. I notice it occasionally yeah. Delirium. This was the prequel to um, prequel to the science. The science, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the science. How good are your records in such good nick? Yeah, yeah, well. Wow. Yeah, they're in good. Keep, like keep them in these plastic covers, you know. No, it's like they're absolutely good. Yeah. So look, I'm gonna put out one now, like one of my favourite tunes. Oh uh, hooch. Marmy and Chernberg. But look, oh, did 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 yeah. did 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 booking me over the last, I don't know, couple of years have been saying, you've got to get Space Brothers, you've got to get Space Brothers. I think, right, right going back to when I was doing some gig in uh, Manchester, you know, I wanted to get you on board. Yeah. yeah. So this is going to be like, I remember I played the first one in August last year, the first time in Manchester. That was great. Yeah. Really good gig, great crowd. It's going to be great fun. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, very cool. It's me, Thrill Seekers. Yeah. Ron. Ron from Sigmund. Ron from Sigmund. Yeah. Right. Slacker, your face. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. That's a tune. Really that cool. is a tune. Yeah, great. So this is the tune where I think this was, it's got a vocal sample of Joe Law in it. Which is the same vocal sample, same track they sampled for The Gift. Wow, that's right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Great vocal, great tune. Your play. vocalist sounded like her, almost. It was. That's the same person. Oh, it's no, the same. Really, that's what I mean. That's Joe Law. Oh, that's the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she, she was sampled by Slacker. Uh, what her name? I mean, I probably knew back then, but yeah. you know, you know, the gift and went in one ear and out the other. Back to you know, you're doing other things. Yeah. What's next in your book? Ah, <clears throat> oh, this. This this was a track that changed everything for me. Yeah. Binary finery. 1998. Cool. Did that after coming straight back from the club. In fact, do you remember? You actually uh, were the reason that I started DJing. Remember that first? Here's a story then. So I was. Uh, it was Steve Steve's birthday, 
Like the crystal house. house. Yes, the crystal no, the, uh, the glass house. house. Yeah. At the glass Is house. Birthday? Yeah, I think it was your birthday okay. party at the glass house. Okay. And Steve said, come on, you've got to DJ. So he came, came down and gave me a crash course on a Saturday afternoon, I think. Yeah, I remember coming here. Isn't it? Yeah, because I had some decks. I didn't really, you know, they were just there. Um, and so Steve gave me a crash course and then he said, just play for 30 minutes, you know. And I said, yeah, no, you know, no one will know. And then we were driving down in Steve's car to the gig. And on BBC Radio 1, it was like Pete Tom saying, and Matt Derry's debut set tonight. And I was like, I, I think I fucking told the guy. Yeah, yeah, and then the like, pressure, the absolute pressure to do it. And I, I think I had a train wreck as well. Oh, just, what? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, listen, man. It was, it like, was good to have you in the booth, mate. He <laughs> <laughs> was just correcting it, you know. You know, the week after, the week, yeah, yeah. The week but, or so after that, was Above and Beyond came down as well. That's the yeah, first time. Yeah. First record they made was their mix of home. But anyway, yeah, sorry, go But that, that, that forced me for, because I was I was uh, so nervous playing that first ever gig, yeah. that forced me, I just thought, right, I'm going to practice every day. So I was practicing like three, four hours every day. And then I booked myself um, New Year's Eve Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. And they couldn't get me off the decks. <laughs> Honestly, I got through all of the records, and I was blind drunk as well. It sounded it sounded great. It sometimes sounded great. it helps. Sometimes it helps a lot yeah, because yeah. you're not your fingers aren't shaking yeah, so much. Yeah, you're a bit more. Steady, you know, you're yeah. a bit more sort of yeah. fluid on the when it comes to actually yeah. touching the. Yeah, the beach I, you know, I never thank you for that, mate. Oh, man, I man, appreciate man. that because I, I don't think, down. Do I, don't think I would have ever started DJing because I just wasn't interested. I wanted to just make music, you know. So and Marcella sung that night as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she, she, she sung always Liberation. Does. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah. So there's another track I can't play, so it's easy with that. I can just substitute Liberation for Destination. I think that's it. Yeah. 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 Oh, Destination. There you go. I haven't got that with yeah. me. Yeah, Darren. Top tune. Yeah. Top tune. So look, I've actually got a copy of it on my label. It's original mix as well. John Johnson mix. I've got a ton of your stuff. Okay, what's next? Oh, what is that? That's one of yours as well. Oh, is that 9pm? So I can't. I look like it. I don't know. But I've got the original one there. That that changed everything for me, as, but just as much as Binary Refinery doing um, a mix. So that was Sydenham as well. Oh, wow, okay. I still don't know who Sequential One is. But Sequential One was the radio edit and the main mix, but me, myself and Signum we did mixes of that. That's a good one. That's true. <clears throat> I remember doing that. Turn it around, baby. I remember doing that around the yeah, time yeah, when I was coming yeah. out to parties around Yeah, that was... Kind of finished that yeah. and um, finished the remix and we wrote the vocal on it. You did so, you're so prolific, you and Ricky. For about yeah. for about twenty minutes, we were we were like about yeah. yeah. Well, a couple of years, couple of years. Few, two or three two years, three we years. Were, yeah. I think it was the same with me. I was just super prolific, and then uh, and then it all kind of you know, and then then I was starting to doubt whether I was enjoying it anymore, and just took, took a little bit of a time out. You know, also burnt out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, that's absolutely that's hardcore clubbing every still, yeah, Thursday, yeah. Friday, Saturday. Sunday clubbing every night. Yeah. I remember coming back here when we were working on we were working on a remix. Was, we were gonna we were gonna mess around on broken the last four. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, were gonna yeah, mix yeah. that. It you was so close. Yeah. yeah, and then then um, I think I was having a meltdown around that time because I, I even got offered chicane salt water. Believe it. Wow. And I started to mix it, and I'd never finished it, so it became the um, what was his alias. Disco Citizens? Yeah, it, so that mix that I started became the Disco Citizens mix because I couldn't finish it, so he said, look, I'll finish it, I'll call it Disco. Wow. Citizens, so. sure, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Right. This one was a big... Uh, my first EP um, of Hooch Tunes. Actually, I think it's probably the second release or something, but this was the one that counted, yeah. you know. So Angel. Was, Jerry, Jerry working with you on this at all? Did, 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 
Was he involved in it a lot? Yeah, I mean, he came he came yeah. to the studio. Yeah, 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 yeah. he came yeah. to the studio. It's more more kind of like direction, my mentor, and you know the 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 actual like musically. Yeah, I mean, um, Angel was with you. Yeah, there's like a break yeah. mix of that, isn't it? And yeah. Well, the break mix is the one. The one that, that, that's the one that that like was the to, original. Oki used to play all the time yeah. and stuff. Yeah. yeah. I, did, I didn't like doing the 4-4 four, four mix, to be honest, because it was, uh, I love the break bit around this sort of time. Look at this, maybe. Not the Who's Shoes. This is just going to be like a Who's oh, Shoes. Absolutely classic. Yeah. Actually, that a cappella you sent me, I made this really awesome DJ mix with uh, like Lustral coming in and out and messing around. It just makes the mixes so much better. Yeah. So I've got like the vocal on a USB with loads of effects and stuff, and you can drop it in and over the next track, so, you know, a mix and key. Yeah. yeah. So it just sounds perfect. The amazing so thing about that vocal. James Holden, nothing. Lustral every time carrying on, you know, the vocal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's just, amazing how yeah. that vocal kind of fits on. Almost every track Everything, because yeah. it's so linear yeah. the, the melody. Yeah. As long as you get in the right key, you, it's not going to clash. No. Yeah, like, yeah. Melodically, it kind of works on everything. Yeah. I mean, I, I use it in, in car, on DJ mixes loads because you can just hear when, when I hear a certain kind of track of oh, just put the put every time that sound amazing. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, we did it for Dream State. We put it on top of a Noble Six record. That sounded uh, kind of great. So. It really, really does go well. Yeah. So many dub plates in here that, that are cut back in the day. Heathman's oh, mastering. Oh, wow, yeah, man. All the, what you is know, that? Jesus. What it's a terrible, that? terrible track that I did. That assigned to uh, oh, Dave MDM, Pierce. Yeah, yeah. Dave yeah. Pierce's label called MDM. Mash it up. Big bad bass line. Not your fine, not your finest not work. my finest hour. Oh, so I've got. got <clears throat> Gabriel Rines. That was a number one record. I was really so lucky to do that record. No, this is quite a rare thing. Triple. Oh yes, I have that very same you've record got, you've got the, in, the, the, in the, mint condition. Have you? You've got the, the triple album. Oh wow, you've got Legacy. <laughs> wow. Listen, it's still shiny and new. I haven't got anything that shiny. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. I've got a few copies of it. But Honestly, in the other room, I've got like a box full of records that are really worn out, smashed, mouldy, battered, scratched. Yeah. Hand, you know, we've seen some rock and roll, but this is so my... That's your mint box. Yeah, this is my mint box. I think box, my, this yeah. was my mint, my mint box, but it's just become a little bit used now. We've done a few things with it. But this was like a triple... Just how... We had like a triple promo album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the album. I think your mix is on here. But like, I'll tell you what's on here, which is really hard to get, is the dub. Yeah, look, unreleased mix. It's your, it's the dub version of that. Yeah. Yeah, you know, that's not on. You can't get that. Oh, cool. cool. Did I send it to you? Yeah, I, I know. I found that. The, I yeah, mean, it's I remember like mixing a, that. That you, was you actually came here to the studio. I'm sure when I was. Yeah, the because mixing it, I think yeah. the original, the, the, the one that's on here, which is which is, hasn't yeah. got the verse vocals, that was your remix, wasn't it? And then. Yeah. Uh, manifesto said, "Look, can you put the verses in." And he came back and put the yeah. verses and the piano on. I actually always prefer the the version without the without the. Um, well, it works better in a club, yeah. you know, without the full vocal. You kind of don't need you don't need the verses. I don't think that one. Liberation, quite like an angel. That was so glad. Uh, Ferry Corsten. Uh, I didn't didn't quite know who Ferry Corsten was yet, but I'd heard. Out of the blue, yeah. and I was like, "I oh, was that who? Was that who is after that? Out of the blue, then who is that? You know, because yeah. I, I just, you know, when someone new comes along and you like, so that's that what makes you feel like a bit of a dinosaur. That, that was Ferry, and uh, luckily, that. yeah, luckily, um, it was actually released on Gold Graham Gold's label, Good was as it? Good as Gold. Really, he's For the and dad and of um, Ben Ben Gold, mm. who's doing very well. Go on, Ben. So, is this 97? <clears throat> yeah, something like that. Yeah, 97. Wow, 90, so that record thing like that. Yeah, yeah. So, Beautiful was two, about 2000s. And then 1999. Nine, yeah. Well, that was, so yeah. these are the, those are the kind of sort of super. Yeah, yeah. That was so, I'm so glad that that, that really kicked started. And how did that, how did that, how did um, Ferry come to mix that? Was that? Yeah, he know, was, he played at Peach. He was oh. playing at Peach, and I think Mikel, Mikel, who's like one of the 
partners in Amada, Mikel Piron. Oh yeah, Michael. Yeah, he was managing Ferry at the time, oh, I right, think. Okay. So, and they all came to, I remember Ferry was playing at Peach or something like that, and there was a connection there. So uh, Graham, Graham Gold got a remix. Graham and Giles, Giles Smith. Oh, remember Giles, Giles Smith? Yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah, rest in peace. He, he went a few years ago, so that game. Really? Yeah, yeah, I know, he's too young. Too young. Uh, Agnelli and Nelson, I bumped into Robbie and uh, and Co. Uh, a few times actually. On the are you bumped into them? I saw Robbie. I saw Robbie at Christmas. I was in, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, Such a nice bloke. Yeah. Both of yeah. both of them. Yeah, yeah. 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 Now I played with him in uh, the Met Arena in Belfast. Yeah. He was doing the transport for the Game of Game of Thrones in Belfast, really? driving around all the actors. Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. That was his. Uh, that was his thing. Day job. Yeah. About this, actually. Look at that. Oh yes. Yeah. Someone like you. Screw that. That's a yeah. really yeah. scratchy vocal. Oh, sound sounds amazing. Like as in, you know, the, it wasn't our best recording. So I think it was done in my basically. yeah, but it's just so oh, iconic. The, vo- yeah. the vocal, the melodies, all your tracks were vocals and melodies very similar to like your vocals were like really amazing, you know, and the melodies. I did like melodies and my vocals were kind of okay. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a secret weapon, weapon called yeah. Ricky, so yeah, yeah. I've got unfair yeah. advantage when it comes to that. He's, he's pretty good at that. You remember Blocko? Yeah. Easy and yeah, Blocko. Yeah, yeah. So he's Blockster. Blocko, yeah, there you so, go. Blocko, Blockster, Groove, groove line. line. I did like a, a mix of that which became huge because it sounded, sounded just like binary like binary, binary, binary. binary. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I imagine it was like, that happens. You know, another reason to play the same kind of melody. Uh, tilt, tilt Invisible. Remember on the legendary huge tunes? Mm-hmm. Just pull one more Come on, keep them coming. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Wow. The first Space Brothers Space Shine. Space Shine. So that's 96. Absolutely massive. I think yeah. that one is mint. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's in place. So that's 96, I think we did that. I think we started that record in 95. I think. Very old. Uh, um, I was lucky enough to to mix this one, though I did turn down, actually turn down mixing Café Del Mar because I thought there was no way you should not touch that tune after three in one, three in one mix. I just thought it's untouchable. There's no no point. I'll tell you a good mix of that was Michael. Yeah, he, he did. did. An he amazing did really... ambient mix. And... Yeah. Well, he did a, a house sort of houseier, progressive sort of mix as well. Did he? Yeah. I remember that kind of like the chill out mix was about eleven minutes long. I just remember lying on the floor yeah. in my flat listening to it with my girlfriends. Yeah. Michael lives in LA now. He married yeah. married an American girl. He's got like a couple of kids and stuff. And good luck to him. Yeah. yeah. I haven't seen him for ages. The last time I saw him was. Uh, I was living in Miami for a while because um, this this house got completely wrecked uh, by a burst, a couple of burst pipes, and I was I was skiing at the time, and uh, my remember uh, we used to have a couple of housekeepers, Sylvie and Joan. Yeah, they they rang me up crying, literally crying, because we'd just finished decorating this whole house. And they, they showed me like pictures of the house just completely destroyed. So I decided to stay in Miami while they rebuilt it from the inside. And they literally well, literally just took everything out, walls, down to the brickwork, everything. What was it that was left on then? Was it just a leaf or something? Yeah, it was just on for so long. It just the roof, the all the ceilings collapsed, everything was in the top. We had this deep freeze. Back in 2011, this this like deep freeze moved across Essex and just froze everything in its path. Oh right, okay. And oh, it was like a freak, you know, freak uh, weather thing. You know, the beginning of Chakra Ian. It was the first, yeah, first one we did. So that was like yeah, 96. Awesome. 
Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, 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 that's that cover even looks good now. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. I've got that on my wall at home, so I've got, I've got a double sleeve of it. It does look really good. So we did the mix, and then um, we were looking for a name, and we have come up with the name of the Space Brothers, and Rex said, like, just call that remix the Space Brothers remix. So that actually, that was came out before well, Shine, so, yeah, yeah. so a Space Brothers really remix is, it. Yeah. it works like that, doesn't it? It does. It's it. like you have to build up the momentum. Yeah. Some sort of so there you go. Yeah. Rick up the final collections. Oh, God. Oh, God. God. I don't know how we used to do that. I've got carry two, two around. Yeah. It's the same. So, yeah. Next weekend. Yeah, so we're playing We're playing a gig in Birmingham. Um, amusement 13? Yeah, nice amusement 13 for Anomaly. I've played for them before. I played there, as I said, the first Trump fans yeah. last August, so it's going to be... Oh, Manchester. Yeah, Manchester, yeah, so yeah. this is the second event, so this is going to be great fun. Great crowds, I'm really looking forward to seeing. Yeah, there's, really there's, so there's yourself, me, Signum... And the Thrill Seekers. And Steve the Thrill Seekers. Seekers. It's yeah. fun seeing Steve again. Yeah, yeah, such a nice bloke. He is. Really nice yeah. bloke, yeah, yeah. Nice. And he's doing so well now with his yeah, yeah, he's got a new Hydra time. and... Yeah. All that sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Got a new album out, I think. So um, I haven't, I haven't made a new record for so long now. I mean, I made this Wolf album, which is completely self-indulgent, just music that I wanted to make. Pretty much. There's a few tracks that were a little bit trancy, but nothing, nothing that anyone could ever play. Yeah, from me. Yeah. My radio show. That's kind of yeah. what you want, though, isn't it? Yeah, sometimes, yeah. Sometimes, sometimes you've got, you've got to I actually it. think. In, you know, I actually did a lot of the tracks that I made that weren't successful are even now, like uh, Lost Tribe, Red Skin. Uh, uh, Red Skin, yeah, I remember that. What was like, the track called? Red, Lost Tribe, Red Skin. Oh, it was never, never released. Um, okay, I put it, again, it was like, uh, it was in my like demo bin, you know, things that, that no one wanted to release because it was, it was so different to anything else and um, I ended up putting it on a video game a few years later because I, I literally I got offered by Infograms to do a PlayStation game called NGen the oh, racing, yeah, yeah, fine yeah, racing yeah, yeah. game yeah, yeah. and um, and they said you know we need exclusive tracks and I said well yeah of course I've got some I'll, in fact I made some just for you just emptied the bin onto a CD burnt it and they said yeah great because the, um, the track they really wanted was Game Master because right. of the, the title. Yeah. And then they took like a load of old tracks and that was finally, not released, but finally got a home, you know. So, so. Cool. Yeah. So I really should get back in the studio. And I, I, I had this meeting in Epping Forest with um, Steve and Darren, Darren Tate, and um, we were talking about making a track and I, I just never did this whole last year has been was that last year or was that before? <clears throat> yeah it's last year yeah last year it's last year well, and okay. we I think I've lost track of time you know what actually, so it was two, might have been two it was years a year and a half ago yeah. because it's been, the reason I, I kind of bumped into Darren again is because he was on the same flight as me to Lumi and that's the, yeah. the first time I played Lumi so yeah. that was yeah, yeah it's like a year and a half ago it's been yeah. that time flies isn't it yeah it's crazy yeah. Really is nuts how time flies, but yeah, yeah, we uh, we spoke about making some tracks, but never, never did. You know, I've never had that. To, I've, only by playing the old tracks recently, you know, have I sort of thought, oh, you know, I could have a go. But it's just, I can't. There's no way I can sort of regurgitate all the old stuff. It's yeah. just not not happening. It's like the Wolf album that I did. I felt was really. Even though it's a sound that isn't like sort of recognised as a, in a genre, Ma mainly you know it's like bits of this and bits of that. It doesn't really fit anyone's. Mm. Doesn't uh, doesn't really fit a particular DJ sort of set, you know. Um, but 
that I felt I felt I was doing something new, mm. fresh. But if I did, you know, it's how do you make trance well, this, this with is, how do you make new a new style of trance? It's possible because it will happen. Yeah, and, it, and I'm sure it is happening. I just I it's probably just, called dubstep or something already. It's probably been done, isn't it? It's no, but great. I mean of trance. You yeah, know, but like, like the, it's kind of trance. But it, surely it's moving, still moving forward. You know. Yeah, I, I, maybe a, it's moving forward more slowly. But back in the day when it was brand new, it was a complete. It was completely. Yeah, like a new, because it was, new sound. It's because yeah. it really was new, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. It was such a special time. It was, yeah. really was like a zeitgeist, and like the same as punk or anything like that coming along. It was such a different sound. You, yeah. Every record you made sounded different because no one had done it before. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah I don't think there's. It is a formula now that's. that's I think the, a lot. Most of the records have been made already, isn't it? So, like the fusions. I think the fusions, like. Um, uh, oh, what's his name? I'm trying to think. Guy who took the sort of dubstep sound, that kind of bass dubstep sound, and mixed it with trance. Uh, I forget what his name is. The first guy to do it. Uh, but I'm just so out of touch with that world that I, I absolutely haven't got a clue what the names are. <laughs> but I do, I do listen. I listened to State of Trance the other month and it uh, it was a really good show it's the one with Steve Hellstrip that's why I watched it so I okay. just thought I'll oh, watch see what Steve is doing and uh, when Armin opened the uh, the show I was like oh what is that because it was opening with this progressive stuff and it's like some really of the, good. So actually yeah, some yeah. of the progressive stuff that's, that's <clears> coming <throat> out in the Amada now is really good yeah somewhere sort of like some captivating and some of those other Amada labels that it's around 130-ish one yeah you know and it's just, quite it's quite it's quite deep it's trance it's trance but yeah. it's the it's more progressive side of it that we used to like in around yeah, 2000-ish yeah. you know um, but yeah there is some there's some good stuff around yeah, I need to listen to it, but I've just been so busy with family stuff this yeah. last year, you know, sure. so it's kind of taken over for me, uh, and uh, I feel like I'm becoming a travel agent now, I'm doing like a, a, a weekend experience in Miami, it's just an excuse to go go away on vacation really, uh, so I'm doing, that's my next next project. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm, I'm doing warm-up for you, I know. It's like that was part of the vibe. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm sure we can just stick me yeah. in a suite yeah. in the hotel, and I'll, I'll do the warm-up. I've just been uh, like looking at all the, the yachts to hire and stuff. Yeah, I'll definitely do the warm-up. Yeah. Yeah. Do them. yeah. So it's, there's some really nice. I'm like uh, really fired up about yachts now. It's some really it's it's so, expensive game. It's an expensive game. Yeah. It yeah. It's two grand a ticket a weekend. Okay. It's quite, and it, it is like literally ju just breaking even. But I don't care as long as it happens. Sure. Yeah. yeah. As long as it happens, it's good. You know. Because I get to hang out with uh, my American maternal family and, uh, and have a great time. You know? so we're taking over the hotel for the weekend. Taking over the. the I saw some. I saw some yeah, we're taking over the rooftop for the weekend. You know, we're sort of like we've got all the rooms on the rooftop. And we're, we're sort of, that's our party for the weekend. And hiring a couple of boats. You know, a yacht, really nice yacht, catamaran. You know, doing an acoustic session on the beach. Like you used to yeah, in Thailand. Yeah, yeah. Just an acoustic guitar. Yeah, and just yeah, play yeah. all the tunes. Yeah. yeah. Nice. You used to go there every year, didn't you? To yeah, yeah. I went. Um, yeah, I mean, that's where it kind of like stuff started from. Yeah, we used, yeah. To, used to go out there in December and come back in March. Yeah, yeah. DJ on Full Moon Pies, Copang Yang, Samui, amazing places though. Like, Copang Yang with no mains electricity. So, like, yeah, the whole line was, the whole, whole line was on, yeah, off generators. Yeah. So, the great thing about it is it came to like, came to like 1 a.m. And when the guys got bored and everyone goes to sleep, they turn the generators off and the island was just pitch black. It was amazing. Yeah. So when you're walking around, you have to use a torch. You know, and it made everything really special. It was yeah, uh, yeah. by moonlight. Yeah. It's lit like that. It's amazing. And now, yeah, now it's, it's really so, developed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's just exploded. Do so. we got that? Yeah, yeah, I think so. So, guys, yeah. we'll see you, um, you know, in Birmingham if you can't make it, I'm sure. There's plenty of other gigs. I've 
I'm playing a few gigs coming yeah. up, you know. Lumos and, and stuff, I'll be playing out. Yeah. I think you've got a gig that weekend as well. You've got your own. Yeah, I've got my own uh, yeah. in June boat party in London to become my sort of thing to do. It's one of the best ways to see London if you're a tourist, because you're just on the boat past every iconic building in London. I missed the one last year, actually. Yeah. I was going to come to that and I think that night as well. Yeah, it's really good. It's really yeah. good fun, you know. Yeah, no, next one, I'll definitely come back to yeah. so. Yeah, so see you guys next yeah, week. Twenty first or twenty second. Twenty second of February. February. Yeah. So, see you later. See you later guys. Bye.